Welcome back, Fast Foodies, to part three of the American Dream Mother's Day review series. Today, I'm going to be trying out Ellie's PB Princess Peanut Butter. And if you guys missed out on part one of this Mother's Day review series where I tried out the Tootsie Special Cashew Butter, or part two where I tried out Kali's Vanilla Crumb Cake Almond Butter, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description box below to both of those reviews. Definitely make sure to check those out. And I'll also have a link to the American Dream website. And if you guys use that link, you can actually save some money on the Mother's Day flavors or any American Dream nut butters. And definitely make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on part four or I'm gonna be trying out Mason's Caramel Hot Fudge Sunday Cashew Butter. Trust me, you are not gonna wanna miss out on this review. This one has caramel sauce, fudge sauce, and waffle cone pieces. Oh, but wow. today, as I mentioned, I'm gonna be trying out Allie's Peanut Butter Princess Peanut Butter. And as you guys can see, I do have my cheat sheet here with the description of this peanut butter. So let me tell you about it. To create Allie's Peanut Butter Princess Peanut Butter, American Dream starts off with a, get this, vanilla marshmallow flavored peanut butter. You heard me, vanilla marshmallow flavored base. And then they top each jar with golden sandwich cookies, premium white chocolate chips, custom princess sprinkles, and last but not least, candy coated pastel bit chips. This thing sounds loaded. Let's take a look at all of those mix-ins. There we go. There's that creamy peanut butter. Now I'm not seeing any of those toppings, but maybe if I give this a stir. Let's see. I don't see any of the sprinkles um, or pastel bits. Oh, maybe there they are. Now they're coming through. See, I think there's some of those sandwich cookies. White chocolate chips as well. Just gotta keep stirring it. Get all those mix-ins from the bottom there. On the spoon look, definitely a creamy base, but I do think I'll be getting some crunch from all those in this thing. Mmm. That. <laughs> That's good. That is tasty. You start off with. That vanilla marshmallow peanut butter base, I don't think I've ever had a peanut butter flavor quite as unique, quite as tasty as that. That that vanilla marshmallow flavor along with the, the slight saltiness of that peanut butter, mmm, that is tasty. Quite the sweet and salty combination. Now moving on to those mix-ins, um, they're definitely are lacking, are not lacking, but I think because there's so many of the mix-ins, so many different mix-ins, I'm almost having a hard time distinguishing between each of them. I almost wish that they just chose maybe like two of these and just loaded the entire jar with those two instead of trying to add in how many do they have. They have the, the golden sandwich cookies, chocolate chip, sprinkles, candy coated pastel bit chips, yeah, so you're getting four mix-ins, but I'm finding that they are getting a little bit lost just because there's so many. I mean, look at that. But I think that the strongest of the four, definitely the white chocolate chips and the golden sandwich cookies. Those are the flavors that I'm getting the most. I'm not getting too, too much of the... Uh, the pastel bit chips, 
I'm having a hard time trying to find them. The sprinkles, the sprinkles do add quite the nice crunch though. I am enjoying that. So for ratings, I think I'm gonna give Allie's Peanut Butter Princess Peanut Butter. <laughs> quite the peanut butter. <laughs> I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. I think, I think if they just, just went with uh, the white chocolate chips and maybe the candy coated pastel bit chips, if they just had those two mixins in here and jam this entire jar of peanut butter with those two, I think that might have been a better way to go. But as is, it's still a very good jar of peanut butter. Mm. And if you guys love your white chocolate chips or golden sandwich cookies and your peanut butter, highly recommend picking up this jar of peanut butter. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the fast foodies at Fast Foodies Review.